we are all going to have losing trades. And the only way to avoid a losing trade is just not to trade. Now, since you intend to make trading a career, not trading is not an option. And the question that comes up in our trade room, for example, has been, how many losses would you take before stopping? And it's understandable why anyone would want and need to know the answer to that question. Because it's a question everyone really should ask themselves, but they don't and eventually they overtrade their account into net zero. So how do you deal with this before excessive trading drawdowns wipe you out? The tendency is to come up with an answer that has some sort of feel good or perhaps more accurately a stop the pain type of remedy. And I'd venture to say that most traders will come up with a response that's motivated by an instinct to survive necessity. And the problem is that this type of response, which is perfectly natural, it's wrong. It's a response that puts your personal needs before the needs of your trading. Trading and markets are not human, but you are. The intuitive thing to do is to stop the bleeding so that you can survive. But success in trading typically requires the counterintuitive action. And the only way to really come up with the right response is to be able to go back and analyze a lot of trades that would have been generated by your method. The responsible trader, or should I say the professional serious trader, who truly has the will and desire to succeed and make money at this endeavor, should do a good amount of foundation building. Because that is the only way to come up with the right answer to that question. And that answer can only be derived from extended backtesting your trading system and a deeper knowledge of not only your wins and losses, but the overall expectancy of your trading plan and your trading system. If you take the time to do that, you will learn a great lesson that pertains the ongoing relationship between wins, losses, and how the combination of the two helped to create your equity curve. And without that knowledge, you're just trying to swing a bat at a fast pitch in the dark with your eyes closed. Look, you're going to have a string of losing trades. Five in a row it doesn't happen often with a good trading system, but it does happen. Six, that's possible. So is 25. But back in 2009, when we were trading the Russell E. Mini in the live trade room with a system that was posting a solid 62% winning percentage, we experienced a really interesting thing. Van Tharp taught us that even a system with a high win percentage has a 1% chance of catching a 9 to 13 trade losing streak. Does that send shivers down your spine? At the 650th Russell E. Mini trade, we started on a path of an 11 trade losing streak. And there was no way to know at that time we were in the midst of that trade after trade. So what do you think happened next? Traders quit our trading room during this losing streak. That's right. We had some traders decide to cancel, but the way we saw it, all the loose fruit we just shake it from the tree. Put it in perspective. It took 650 trades to hit a losing streak bad enough to shake people out. They must have forgot about the previous 649 trades that added to the trading account and their upsloping equity curve. Now, once we took time to think about it, we thought, who can blame them? As they're just human beings being responsible and responding in a natural, intuitive way. The instinct for survival is powerful, obviously, and they were attending to their needs. The need to stop the pain so they could continue being. But what happened next was so predictable. The system did not break down. A 62% winning percentage over 650 trades, that doesn't happen by accident. On the 12th trade, the losing streak was broken. Our Russell E mini trading plan proceeded to embark upon a 16 trade winning streak and brand new equity highs. The system ended up posting a net 400% annual return. Yet so many just bailed out, tossing the baby out with the bathwater because they didn't have the overall vision. The needs of their trading were pushed aside to accommodate their own personal and psychological needs. And you have to become involved with the win, the loss column, as it relates to the equity curve. It's a trees from the forest type of thing. Don't get lost in the trees and lose the broader perspective vision of the growing forest. Now those that go through the trouble to create a strong foundation before committing real money are going to be in a much stronger position to succeed as a trader because they understand the potential that awaits. So studying the win loss column will provide the best and most intelligent answer to the question, how many losses? Anything else is most likely just a very human, but a very wrong answer.